thank you so so much for showing up in drones, for signing up and for coming for this uh, second annual Africa Women in Technology Conference hosted by Heritage. So just a brief historical background. Um, the four of us met while the IHAB was forming back in 2010 and we realized that there was a really huge gap. There were very few women in the room and we decided that we wanted to come together and create a forum or a, a place where we could all gather and encourage each other to take up careers in technology. As you know, software is, ev is everywhere and it's changing the world. It erases borders, shrinks distances, destroys all notions of time. If you do it well, it creates excitement and loyalty. If you don't, it frustrates and undermines. It's wonderful to be in this room and to see so many young women um, identifying themselves as technologists. Technology as a basis teaches you how to analyze, it teaches you how to gather information, and it teaches you how to make great decisions based on um, you know, being able to Google, being able to strategically put a plan together. Um, I do feel as though, um, like when I think about how I started in engineering, I was the only black person and I was the only woman in my, in my group. So seeing this much, this much interest in technology, I think you guys are already way ahead of the game. The challenge is to have people to work with me Putting in mind, I'm a lady, I'm a tech, I'm a programmer, where they say we, can't, we don't have good programmers, we don't have ladies who can program or code. So, and also having people to work in alliance that are do what you're doing and have to improve it. So, the biggest challenge is having people on board to work with me. My first point is that if you're not curious about this field of technology, then you're in the wrong space. Okay, technology requires a significant amount of curiosity. Anything that is not your world, you have the resources, you have books, you have people around you, you can ask questions, you have the internet, you have reports, and I think when you begin to think about technology, you begin to then think about technology as your end point, but then what are the problems? You must be multidisciplinary about the way you think about things if you are already outside the margins. You must look at it from various perspectives. Hi, my name is Rachel Gashinga. Um, I work as the program lead at the Africa Digital Media Foundation. I'm really happy to be here at the Akira Chicks Conference, um, the Africa Women in Technology Conference 2015. It's been amazing. The participants are super fun. Um, and I'm a huge, huge fan of Akira Chicks. Um, I hope things go well as you plan for next year's conference. And, uh, and our theme this year is actually part of our tagline, which is, you know, building. Right now it's she builds, she sells, she leads. So this year I wanted to focus on letting women build as a, a focus of trying to get people to understand what exactly we need to do to get women building solutions for Africa. And the other thing that's really important is today we, we tried out something different this time around where we added a jobs fair and we got some companies to showcase what they do, talk about what they do and recruit, you know, get some talent. I have interacted with students who, who came from Akira Chicks and they are pretty, pretty amazing people. They have this character or personality that you really would want to work with them. Yeah, so uh, I think Akiratix does a very good job in creating both developers and also ladies who really want to get out there and do business in the tech industry. Akira Chicks, we want to thank them for the event, the relevance of the event. At least, as much as you're talking about women, there's proof. Like, they've brought, uh, you know, successful women in the society, so we can at least get motivated, like, we can feel live, like, this is what is happening. And the food has been awesome. <laughs> I have eaten so much. <laughs> it's been really an honor to see Akira Chicks um, community grow over the years not only in numbers but also in impact uh, and for the new group of girls who are joining Akira Chicks it's a really fantastic program take advantage of all the interactions that you have I would like them to access even into the to those places like slums get the women there people have ideas people are into technology but they don't know how to impl implement it it's an opportunity. So far, it's been such a wonderful event. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for new entrepreneurs, people in technology, women that are more established and executives to learn more about the space. Um, and I think it also encourages us female techies um, that we don't have to be in a silo. There's actually a larger community that we can be a part of. So 
It's been awesome so far. I really thought it was going to be a small community of women, but to see this number of women has been just excellent, has been fantastic. I'm highly encouraged. I've met people who are in high school, people who are in university, people who are university leavers, and they're all asking similar questions, which I think is fantastic, because they have the one thing I did not have when I was graduating, which is a community. A community that can help them in their own respective journeys, a community that can help them as women developers, as women in careers, um, but more so I think what I really love about Akira Chicks and I'm so proud of them is that it's also building a community for the future, the, the generation to come and really building a platform where we wouldn't need conferences like these in a couple of generations because women will already be in technology, answers will already be provided and the networks of where to go get those answers will, will be very, very clear. So well done Akira, well done Akira Chicks.